Modern BMWs can only be described using one word, polarizing. The new 5 Series is no different. If BMW's goal is to get everyone talking, then job well done, because here I am, talking about it with my two best mates who I haven't even met yet. I'm Jacob. I'm Yuri. And we're going for a five. The all new 2024 BMW 5 Series. i5 M60 xDrive with Sport Boost Launch Control. <laughs> that is pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really good. Horsepower and torque. 593 horsepower, 586 pound-feet of torque with up to 605 pound-feet in sport boost mode, which is when we did that launch. And if I pull my left paddle, that's how we get into boost mode. I'm gonna pull it right now while we're driving. Downshift. Man, I think they're pumping in the audio in this. Like, It doesn't sound completely natural. No, it's a little bit pumped in, a little bit synthetic. We are in sport mode, so that's what they're pumping in in sport mode. Let's take a listen to the outside. But it is kind of weird that you only get 19 extra torques by pulling this paddle. I feel like it's kind of useless to pull the paddle, but you get a more sound in here. So let's see what this does through Cliche Corner. And oh, it's flying, Holy bro. crap. This, Are there rear wheel steering there? Yeah, there's rear wheel steering. Uh, oh my goodness. Dude, this handles really well. This is so quick. This just this feels that's... like an evolution of a car. Yeah, that's that's... That's something. Yeah, so we previously drove the M550, which this replaces with the M60 now in the new 5 Series generation. Yeah, because it's all been refreshed. That's right. And do you like the looks? Can we start with the looks? The looks are a little polarizing. Yeah, a little bit polarizing. I think the coolest part is how that grill lights up. Is that the uh, M Iconic grill, even though this is not an M car, it's an M Sport. That's right. Or M Performance. Yeah, I mean, I don't love this, but it's been less butchered than the 7 Series, so I think that it's okay. I wouldn't say the 7 Series got butchered. I think it's a different look, but I, I like the grill reminds me of the XM. Yeah, a little bit, but not as crazy because here what they are going for is the old 5 Series shark nose grill, which if you look at a picture of one of those and this, and you're like, uh, sure, BMW, if you say so. You used to the headlights, used to the taillights? I'm used to them. I don't love them. The previous M550i just looked gorgeous. I think this suits it really well. I like how the front has a big black portion to go around, like, whatever color the car you get. You know what this car looks like, Yuri? A Chinese copy of itself. I wouldn't say that. I would. <laughs> and I just did. I know, but I really I, love the wheels on this. The wheels are absolutely perfect on this. Yeah, BMW wheels have been pretty good lately, even though they are dark. Yeah, but they have those nice accents on them. I think it just it pops off. It's perfect for this car. And what would be the Continental recommended tire for the new BMW 5 Series? The Extreme Contact Sport 02. Okay, back to Chinese knockoff of itself. Let's show the picture of the... Mini Cooper and the Chinese Mini Cooper. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not exact. It's it's a simulation of what you'd think it would look like. Well, like I, like I always say, BMW perfected their looks at like 2019, 18. Yeah. Like, but we still do have a Hoffmeister kink here with a 5 in it to prove that it's still a BMW. Excuse me? Yeah. So there's a Hoffmeister kink on yeah. BMWs. Please explain that. Okay. So you see the C pillar? Yeah. It's been a BMW kind of staple, almost like the... Uh, the kidney grills as well, where it kind of tapers in at the bottom and kind of shoots forward a little bit. Oh, the old Hoffmeister. Exactly. Kinking up the seat pillars. <laughs> it's also been on many other cars, which I believe one of them was the uh, the sick 90s Impala even had a Hoffmeister kink. Hoffmeister. <laughs> and then move around to the back, we got pretty decent taillights. They're just okay, straight lines. It matches this car, especially yeah. with the bottom, the way like the similar black painted stuff at the front is at the back. Along the bottom, it looks pretty cool. And we got a nice diffuser. Can't see any exhaust back there. Yeah, this color's all right too. Like unoffensive, but also nice when the sun is hitting it well. Yeah. Which it wasn't while we were filming most of it today. No. <laughs> and I do like how it is blacked out along the trim, and how we got like the flush door handles. That's nice. Right. The blacked out part really kind of shrinks the size of this thing because it is big. It's a five series. It's right in the middle of the BMW lineup. But with that, they kind of did the thing that uh, Ford did with the Mach E. Six thirty. 
yes, or that. <laughs> but the Mach-E specifically, because it like shrinks the size a lot, and it's meant to be a Mustang. Well, the, the Mach-E does that on the roof and on the bottom, and this just does it on the bottom. That's right. So it's the CX-30. I saw a CX-30, a white one driving by, and I'm like, it would look stupid if they color matched at all. Yeah. It just looks like a floating car. <laughs> <laughs> the one that looks like a Ferrari. The yeah, Bureau Sangue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So more driving stuff. Uh, this is all-wheel drive. We've got some pretty decent steering wheel feedback. Not really, but I do like that it still feels like a BMW. It's kind of heavy-ish. I'm driving it in sport mode. There are many different modes, which I will let Yuri explore later. But sport mode feels pretty good to me. You can customize it through the menus. It's not the best just because you kind of are forced into customizing it through sport mode. You don't get like a real good individual mode. This is a sit down, shut up, use the mode we tell you and enjoy the colors on the interior to match it. Exactly, and driving through here, there is definitely some understeer. It does feel heavier than the last M550i, but man, those sounds are pretty interesting. It's cool, it's cool. That, that last M50i was like pretty it's sweet. Kind of perfect. But you know what, man? M5 CS all day. That yeah, thing that was thing my is, dream. Yeah. I love that. And if you've seen that clip of that guy who stayed in it on the racetrack and crashed him <laughs> to the wall on the right, how? Yeah. How, bro? How did you do that? I don't know. This is what happens when people get ticketed for doing uh, donuts in the snowy <laughs> parking lots. But I understand that takeovers have screwed that up for everyone. And then back to the looks for the engine. There's a massive engine cover at the front. You don't really get to see anything under there. Sick. And the suspension is really good on this. I'm in sport mode. We only have rear axle air suspension. The front is regular springs, but driving around in sport mode is really nice. The damping is perfect, which is really hard to do for cars of this size and this weight, but then you can also dial it into comfort mode and then it just gets even more comfortable. Put in comfort mode. Oh, that's a little challenging here. Okay, so I got oh my, God. my modes, I have to look down and then I'm just gonna go to personal because personal chills everything out rather than having to go into my modes, sport, and then customize sport with the settings while I'm... What if you go to relax? While I'm driving, see, and now I can go uh, damping, comfort. Now we're in sport both with damping and comfort. It's really nice. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, over the over the little cracks in the bridge, it's yeah. like you hear it, you kind of feel it, but not really. Exactly. It feels like, it feels like a feather. Yeah, yeah. All right, Yuri, I think I've spoken enough from the driver's seat. Let's get you in here now launch control. Why is it pulling on my seatbelt? Okay, now pull sport boost. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Yeah. Dude, that is, you know what? That's a good show. That's a good show. Okay, Yuri, I want you to experience the other modes. I, uh, I know you already want to I put am, it in a different mode. I always just want to be an expressive. Okay, so it's got this mode called expressive. The fact that every other car company doesn't have a mode this cool is embarrassing for them. Making kind of electric-y sounds right now. Does it launch in this mode? Oh, yes, it does, Yuri. Okay, do you think that's pumped in? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah it's yeah, definitely yeah. pumped in. That's probably not the natural sound of the motors doing that. Well, I don't know. The motor, right? I guess this does have two motors. You can get this in rear wheel drive only. Okay, then you get one motor. If you want rear wheel drive or all wheel drive or any different version of the 5 Series, hit up tsp.truecar.com, see what they have listed right now. Or if you wanted to buy a V10 M5. Like that, I do. That too, yeah. <laughs> you want to buy it, you don't want to maintain it. That's right. You know how to buy the car, you don't know how to keep the car <laughs> on the road. It takes a lot of money. All right, so driving around in this mode with this pumped in audio and the cool lights at night, it really puts off like main character energy. Okay. But I think in 2023, main character energy is kind of cringy. Okay. So you shouldn't always be doing that, you know what I mean? <laughs> the lighting is pretty intense in here. It is cool. Like You could full out see it in the daylight. It is pulsing in this expressive mode right now. Yeah, it, the, the lighting in here, they did a good job to compete with what Mercedes is usually doing. Like this really stands out, especially compared to like that X7 that we recently drove. Yeah, that's right. Like this is like, whoa, this is the next level. The way the colors, match like what's on the screen and everything. For the sake of the audience, I'm just going to put it into relax mode. Digital art. Yeah, just for the, the noises to not be quite annoying the entire time. 
a I digital guess. piece of art from yes. artist Cal Chow Fei. Cal Fei. All right. A connection with BMW start with the creation of the 18 BMW art car. With the digital art mode, we have the chance to cooperate again. Yeah, I'm sure it's really expensive though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, here's our infotainment. I drive 8.5, Yuri. Yeah, so it's the new one where you've got the home button in the middle. You've got your app thing on the side that'll go through everything. You've got your climate on the left always showing. When you click that, you don't have to go through all those like menus left and right like you used to in, I think... I drive 8. Yes. Yeah, so they have fixed it. And I wonder if they've updated 8 to be this or not. Yeah, I think that's how it works. Like everything that had 8 gets... 8.5 as yeah, a Yeah, like slow a forced rollout. update. It's like, oh, you got used to this? Psych. Yeah. Or you just go to the dealer. I don't really know how it works. I don't know how it works. So um, wireless CarPlay only. We don't have our hard buttons for climate or favorites anymore, but we do have a shortcut that slides down. Yes, and then we have these touch buttons for climate, at least the fan speed. Yeah. I. And the defrosting, which I did have to use. Then this also has cool features like drive recorder. It's got a really good sound system. You can rewind satellite radio. What this does have, which is kind of cool, which was advertised on all the material, was video games. So you could play games from your phone to control it in here. And they advertised Overcooked. Do you know Overcooked? No. It's like one of my favorite games. It's like the best four player like family game. My family goes hard on, on Overcooked. But they don't have it here. Yeah. They don't so have it in got, North America. We got a bunch of different games in here. I was playing, uh, what is it, Burning Rubber? Rubber Burning 5, Burning Rubber, Setting Things on Fire 5. It's kind of weird to park for an hour, but whatever. whatever you got to do what you got to do sometimes. I'm just mad that there's no Overcooked here because I'm so into Overcooked. And then there's also no video plays back on here, which I think other countries get like YouTube and stuff. I yeah, think, yeah. I saw or something similar to that. I saw it on Rory's video, and he made a couple funny jokes about the movies uh, being in the catalog, and like movies like you'll never watch or ever, ever heard of. Yeah, well, I saw, we don't I, have that anyway. I saw so YouTube matter. there too, which was pretty cool. But what this does have is really good adaptive cruise lane centering. Oh, like the best almost like at, at this point. At speed, watching your eyes, hands off, right? Yeah, yes. Just really, like really that good. X7. Yep. But probably better. I don't know. It's really, really good. And it'll change lanes for you and stuff when you turn the signal? It'll do all of that. Nice, 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 nice. And then we have this really cool, I love the texture of this carbon fiber. It's like 3D-like. It feels really nice. High quality. This interior feels really nice. A little bit of like kind of plasticky stuff, but not the worst. Yeah, this interior is really nice. I think what really sets it off is the ambient lighting and all that kind of stuff. Like, And then red seats. Like these red seats are nice. Yeah, the red is cool. We got like so much moonroof, which is also really cool. Yeah, and I find it a little bit strange because it goes the opposite way. So I had to push the button the opposite way of every other car because it rolls out from here rather than rolling forward. And then this does have Hey BMW. You can be fully connected to an app and do like 360 views. It'll monitor everybody who drives this car, show every route they took on a map and all that stuff. Uh, but right now we've got data services off so we can't even do Hey BMW. And I think yes. even if we hold this button it won't do anything. It'll yeah. force you to enable that setting in the data settings. Yeah, so that's cool that you can turn that stuff off, yes. even though you lose a lot of features. Access to the whole reason you have this car. Potentially. What if you just want these lights? That could be it. What if you want this nice uh, powertrain? That could be it. Can you see what you're subscribed to through your infotainment? Yes. So nice. you can scroll right through and you can see the expiration dates on everything. And then I noticed we have the crystal uh, controller here. That is an option. I have a hard time using this compared to traditional BMW ones. I feel like traditional ones, I could do jog, click, and touch everything easily. This, I feel like every single button needs my finger or hand to move in a different way to make it work. I also find that to be yeah. a little bit more difficult, I, I, I but it looks like, really nice. Like, you know, okay, you know when you peel a, a grocery store bag open? Yes. I feel like you need to do like lick your finger or something to do that for, to make this volume knob <laughs> slide because it's so slippery, right? Yeah, but it looks really nice. Like I'm not nice. going to, honestly. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And then we obviously have gloss black over here. We have cup holders down here, which fit uh, normal size cups, no problem. And then a wireless charger in front of it. Yeah, and it's USB-C there. I wonder if it's water resistant like the old ones they said I it were. I think it has to be at this point. And if you wanted to elevate this interior to the next level or any interior, get yourself a set of Tuxmat. Go to tuxmat.com slash the stray pipes to see what they have for your car. They do not have the 5 Series yet, but they will soon. I'm waiting for them to put uh, LED lights to match the Ooh, ambient lighting of cars. Interesting. I don't think that's realistic. But Could you imagine <laughs> battery-operated LED lights in you, you plug your Tuxmat into your cigarette lighter. 
<laughs> Talk some <mad. laughs> So with all that out of the way, I think it's time we get to the price. It starts at $95,000. Canadian. And this one is optioned out to $113,600. Yeah, it definitely is worth that for the performance. Like this thing is friggin' lightning. Like having it be all electric. Okay, but it is all electric, which we didn't say throughout this entire video. Let's talk about that real quick. The range up to 412 kilometers, not the greatest, but also not the worst. Can it charge quickly? Up to 205 kilowatts, and you can get 10 to 80% in about half an hour. And then this is shared with the gas version, so that's why this isn't like a floating area or whatever. Yeah, so it had to be designed with both in mind. Which they did for the 4 Series, which we kind of liked. That's right, and this is dual motor, all-wheel drive. And even with the electric stuff, you still have a good amount of trunk space, which is cool. Yeah. And then big shout out, electrical companies in Ontario are now charging by how much power you use, not by the time. You tested that out, how did that go? Uh, okay, here we go. I'm gonna make this as short as possible. I went to Electrify Canada and they still bill by the minute. So it cost me approximately $4.50 for nearly 12 kilowatt hours, which was, I felt out pretty reasonable. And it took a pretty decent amount of time. It was charging at a peak of about 116 on a 350 kilowatt charger, which is pretty slow. So then I went to Ivy and Ivy has switched to billing by the kilowatt so I could actually calculate even before I get there how much it would cost. And it would actually cost me $7.33, which is nearly double for the same amount of kilowatts. Now when I got there, it was charging at a max of about 50 kilowatts, which isn't a problem because I'm not being billed by the minute. However, I'm spending a lot more time now. And this is a max 100 kilowatt charger. However, when the guy next to me stopped charging, I all of a sudden got 100 kilowatts max. So if you're there with theoretically four cars, everyone's splitting 25 kilowatts, which is very interesting. So with everyone switching to this kilowatt billing, I've paid double and it took me twice as much time. But it's less of a gamble. You kind of know what you're expecting price wise, but not time wise. Exactly. But you know, if you're in the States, you get free charging from Electrify America with the i5 and the i7. Okay. But in Canada, you only get free charging at Electrify Canada with the i7, not the i5. Interesting. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hit the notification bell. Subscribe. See you next video. Oh, and zero to 60 time of a boat.